Welcome back to PC Building Simulator, everybody. Today we are back in the case we built last, in the computer we built last week. It was for the $500 budget, and today I'm going to show you a upgrade path to get this from $500 to $700, like the other build I have, with these parts. And you don't have to change too much on this either. All I'm really going to be doing with this one is we're going to be, well, first we're going to unplug some things and remove the graphics card because that's one thing we're changing out. CPU is another thing I'm going to change out. And we're going to add an M.2 drive for some more storage. So we're going to grab an M.2. And we want a cheaper one at like, yeah, that. Let's grab the A-Data one. All right, that price is off. It's a lot cheaper in real life than that. So the prices in the PC part picker lists I'll have in the description down below. She'll have the differences between uh, the parts in game and the parts I would buy in real life and I recommend those. Another thing we're gonna we're doing today is we're upgrading the CPU from the Ryzen 3 1200 to the Ryzen 5 2600. It's a six core, 12 thread processor. It's a really nice chip. I actually have built with this one before in a in a real life build. I have that one not the one I'm using, it's a different one I built. And it, it again comes with a stock cooler, so I wouldn't recommend using this exact cooler, just use the stock one. I mean, if you have this one lying around and you're, you happen to get this, uh, this uh, CPU without a cooler, then yeah, go ahead and use the one you got. But and go ahead and use it but need a cooler and the last thing we're doing today for this particular build is we're upgrading from the 1030 to a, to a 1650 okay for example purposes it is a 1660 because they don't have 1650s in game for some weird reason. So, it's going to be this one just for example. Now, time to wire everything up. Plug everything in, I shall do, and plug the graphics card back in. And power it on up. Cover back on. And I'm going to run this, and at the end of it, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to skip to the end for the editing and cut right to it. And we're going to show you this one compared to what it was last week at the lower components. So I'll see you in just a minute. Alright, and now that we got the results here, we see it's a 5881 score with graphics test 1 of 38.98 frames per second graphics test 2 at 34.31 frames per second the CPU score was 5354 and the CPU test at 17.97 frames per second and against last week's scores and I just checked them and compared to last week's scores, last week's scores were about one fifth of that, almost one sixth of that, at only 1101 times by extreme main score, and a graphic score of only a thousand and six frames, 6.6 .6 and 5.6 .6 frames per second over there. And over on the CPU side, it was only 2,645 and 888, or 8.88 frames per second. So yeah, 
with just some simple upgrades, you know, 200 bucks more. I don't care what the in-game prices are, it's just the IRL ones, because uh, those are the ones that actually matter. And just for like 200 bucks more on this particular system that was there last week that I built, this one is getting somewhere. And you could even upgrade this one another step further. The motherboard is ready for it. That's why I went AMD. AMD upgradability. We got everything from the 3 to I could probably even throw a Ryzen 9 on there. One of the higher tiered ones there, the higher priced, uh, you know, you, you, you all know the ones. Ryzen 9 12, 8, 16, or the 12 or the 16, or even the Ryzen 7 with the 8 cores. Although, the next step after this one, this upgrade, I'd say upgrade to 16 gigs of memory. And then another graphics card upgrade. Cause yeah, that one's 8 gig stick of memory will last you a good amount, but it's kinda slow. And uh, yeah, we, we, we could do better. We could do a lot better. Actually, I'm gonna swap all these parts to what I just said to some of the higher tiered ones just to show you an example of uh, what it could do, what your system could potentially become from the little $500 parts. Alrighty, as you can see I've got the upgrades all complete now. And I chose to go with a Ryzen 7 8-core 3700X processor. And it's cooler. I picked this one just because it, you know, no stock coolers. So you could use the stock one if, you, if it, yours comes with one. Or you can just go find some decent air cooler like this one. This CPU will start generating a decent amount of heat. And might have to upgrade the power supply. Just maybe. But I need to think of that. But I also changed out that crappy stick of just straight up green back green no uh, heat spreader memory to this uh, ADATA 16 gig one at 3200 megahertz speed. And the graphics card has been swapped from the GTX 1650 that I'd recommend for the $700 upgrade. Or in the in the game, it was a 1660, because they didn't have the 1650 for some weird reason. And I upgraded that to an RTX 2070 Founders Edition, just because, well, figured it looked pretty nice in there. So we're going to run a quick benchmark on this one to show you what that small $500 system has way potential on upgrade. I'll see you in a minute. All right, and as you can see, I got the score and it's about 50% higher than it was at the $700 build at 7,517 with the great graphics score of 7,359. Graphics test 1 at 47.94 frames per second. Graphics test 2 at 42.17. CPU score at 8,564. CPU test got 28.74 FPS. And that's what the system consists of. Which is really nice. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, up obliterate that like button down below and subscribe if you're new also if you haven't already go down in the comment section and leave me a comment what you thought of this video if things you would have done differently i loved conversing with you guys on the last one i did that was a lot of fun for me if 
If we could do it again, that'd be great. Also, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!